Proverbs 4 verse 7, the beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom. And whatever you get, get insight. Price her highly and she will exalt you and she will honor you if you embrace her. She will place on your head a peaceful garland, graceful garland. Bestow your beautiful crown. Hear my son, accept my words and the years of your life will be many, etc. <laughs> You know, a lot of times our mentality of reading the Bible is trying to um, know what God wants and obey Him so that you get blessings or you get also to heaven, essentially. Uh, but it is such a non-motivational speech, you know, if you have that kind of attitude towards that. Um, but. But Proverbs 4 here tell us that reading the Bible gives us the uh, benefits far more than what uh, most people think. People just think that, um, that I will please God. But it's not, it's, it's, it's not just about pleasing God. It's, it's actually about your life. Your entire life, your well-being depends on it. So what do you see that? Your health, your longevity, your peace, your calm, your job, your career, everything dependent upon the Word of God and how much you absorb it in your life. That is what matters. You see here? Um, okay, so, so he says, a father's attention. Oh, sons, here a father's uh Father's instruction, be attentive, that you may gain insight. You know, insight comes from attentive hearing the Word of God. Okay, insight and wisdom comes from the Word of God. If you don't have that, it's really, really hard to excel in whatever form and shape you want to do in life. So, the point is this, you are not just reading the Bible. Uh, because of your devotion because you're supposed to do that once a day but now we have to go far beyond according to the book of Proverbs this is actually the manual for life not for manual for pleasing God only <laughs> it is but it's more than that uh, it has far many more things than that one can think of, you know. He said, do not forsake my teaching. Get wisdom. Um, the beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom. You see, the beginning of wisdom is to get wisdom. How motivated, it, more motivational. It's almost rhetorical, but it is actually the way to get wisdom. It's a decision to get wisdom that brings you into the realm of wisdom. So what is wisdom? Wisdom is you knowing what is right in life, what to do. That would be like refreshing to your bones, the Bible says. That would be like a strength to, to, your, uh, to, your, to your brains. And uh, long life, you shall be added many days in your life. All these things, it's an incredible promise of God. So once you know all this stuff, you will want to dive into the Word of God more. But people don't know that it is, it is just uh, such an important thing that um, people don't realize that. Therefore, they don't read the Bible. You know, you get wisdom from the Bible. Okay, so you read the Bible, digest it, think over it, reflect over it. Pray over it. Talk to God about this. Continue. Let it sink into your heart. Then meditate it. That's the way, proper way to read it. You're not reading it like for the sake of fulfilling your duty or something. That would not be correct. You have to read it. Hear His voice. Keep reading. Someday it may not come easy. You're know? <laughs> going to read it two, three, four times. Three, four times. Um, Sometimes the first time you get the revelation comes is that is just beautiful. But 
Well, they're not into quite a couple of times at least. So you read it and let it come to your mind. You settle it down. You know that is that is truly a, such a motivational、uh, things to do. Price her highly, and she will exalt you. You see, reciprocating. If you price the word of God highly, the word of God will exalt you, will, will lift you up. You don't even need to lift yourself up, because God will do that for you on your behalf. How about that? All, all we need to do is to、uh, lift up the name of the Lord,、uh, wanting to really do it for. For the name of God, for for whatever, for the best, you see. Praise her highly; she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. It's, it's very reciprocating. If you honor the word of God, if you honor the God,、uh, she will honor you. If you embrace her, sorry. So if you embrace the word of God,、uh, she, the word of God will honor you. All right. So embrace means receive it. Don't reject it or don't leave it behind, so you can get a beautiful crown on your head. You know, she will place on your head a graceful garland, a graceful garland. Nothing better than a graceful garland. That means it is not a vicious garland. It is not a garland. You know, it's by the grace of God. It's not something. You earn something. He gives you the wisdom of God. It's the word of God. The inside of God is the word of God. Everything from God's word. Okay. Say、so、verse ten. Hear my son, and accept my words, that that the years of your life may be many. You want to live long life? Is it this? How many things is all about you? You know, it's never been for this chapter for the book of Proverbs. I majority is for your sake. You know, God is not asking you to to to、uh, embrace His word and、uh, receive His word, be attentive to His word for His sake. You know, it's for your sake, so that you really get it, and that you will really be able to. Uh, uh, Flourish in this society of、uh, down and under. Remember, God has great things、uh, for us. You can see how many great things God has promised for us, and He just wants to give us more. What is stopping Him giving us more? Is us not dwelling, not embracing the wisdom of God, the Word of God. So this is a very, very crucial. I've taught you the way of wisdom. I led you in the path of righteous, of uprightness. I taught you the way of uprightness. There's no way for us to walk in the life of uprightness in this world of crookedness and、uh, secularization, departure from God, and everything that is godly. There's no way. Humanly impossible. The culture is too strong, too overwhelming. We、we'll、find ourselves in a defensive spot. We、we'll、find ourselves struggling because we can't handle it. The only way is to receive the word of God, the wisdom of God, that gives us strength. You know, God's word not only gives you how to and what to do, but gives you strength and power to do it. Okay, so God has taught us. Now, if God has taught the Word of God has taught us, if God has taught us, we shall we shall blossom and groom. Okay, but if if、uh, if we try on our own, we can't pull it off. But because He taught us, you see, there's so many things here.、Um, when you run, your step will not be hampered. See, for your sake, <laughs> when you run, you will not be in- obstructed. And if you,、uh, when you walk, you will not be hampered. And if you run, you will not stumble. All this, see how much it's going to quite details. This is all the benefits 
of uh, embracing, receiving the word of God, the Bible, the wisdom of God. It says, um, keep hold of instruction, do not let go. God has achieved your life. You know, the word of God is your life. See, I told you just now, the word of God is your life. Uh, don't let it go. Um, God her. What, what it means is, if you let go of the word of God, you, you will conceivably lose the life of God in your life. That will be a very hard, very, very hard uh, scenario situation to deal with life. Uh, the word life is shalom, flourishing tranquility, peace, and shalom, and fruitfulness, and the cultural mandate, and everything that is in there. Okay, so, what else? Do not enter the path of wickedness. Do not walk in the way of the evil one. Okay, so, all this, you know, avoid it. Do not go in. Turn away from in the past, for they cannot sleep until they have done wrong. For they eat the bread of wickedness. All this. For the path of righteousness. Okay. My son, be attentive to my words. Verse 20. You call your ear to my say. Let them not escape your sight. For they are alive to those who find them. Live to those who find them. You see that you find life when you find the word of God. And healing to all your flesh. Oh my goodness even brings physical healing it's so awesome right keep your heart with all vigilance keep your heart with all vigilance and then from it shall flow life out of it uh, from it flow the springs of life the springs of life how beautiful but dwelling and meditating on the Word of God, the Scripture, the Bible, the, you find the uh, from the Word of God flow the springs of life. How beautiful, right? The, the, the Word of God is a spring of life. You know, in the desert, the spring gives life to creatures because it's so dark. So that springs of life give you strength and refresh and energy and kill your thirst and now we die so this is just simply amazing uh, put away your crooked speech okay crooked speech and put your devious talk from your from your eyes we gotta put away put away all this nonsense you know the talk that deviates in this world God is asking us to cut it off. All right, ponder the path of your feet. Then all your let your eyes look directly forward. Let your gaze be straight before you. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. All this and the commands of God for our sake. Amen.